Welcome back to another sound design tutorial. Today's a very simple and quick one, how to build your own snare drum sounds using a synthesizer. You can follow along with any synth that has at least one oscillator and a way to generate noise. I'll be showing this with Serum as usual because it's nice and visual, and I'll also be doing the basics in Citrus, which comes stock with FL Studio. The sorts of sounds we'll be making today is an electronic snare drum that sounds like this but there's lots of ways to modify this across the keyboard. That's the foundation of the sound, but we'll also add effects to make it sound a bit different. And you can dramatically change the punch, sustain, attack, and whatnots of this sound so that you don't have to be scrolling through sample packs, finding the right snare, you can just build your own. So let's get right into it and initialize this patch. The first part of the sound I want to generate is that low end and the mid range, which is quite sort of punchy and thick. So I'm going to start by just getting a sine wave. It's a great wave to start with for a lot of synthesis. And I'm going to play a few octaves down from middle C so that I get a more sort of thick, uh, deep low end. So it sounds a bit like a, a sub right now. If I was in Citrus, I would just go to OP1 and it already loads up as a sine wave. So going back to Serum, to give this sound some shape, we're going to go to envelope 1, which is our ADSR envelope for the volume. I'm going to give it about one millisecond of attack, just so there's no click at the start. Then I'm going to bring the sustain down to minus infinity. If we drag this tension curve from the middle, we can make the snare sound a little bit more transient or have a little bit more body later on, but we can adjust that to taste later. And then the decay I'm going to take back to about 100 milliseconds. These settings are a great place to start, and it will sound like this. So we're starting to get that body of the snare, but please feel free to adjust these to your own taste, because you're not going to want the exact same snare that I'm building here. The next thing to do is add a little bit more punch by automating the pitch of this oscillator, so I'm going to do that with envelope 2. I'm just going to create a shape a little bit like this, and then I'm going to link that to the coarse pitch. Then whilst hovering over this icon, I press Shift, Alt, and a left click, which changes it to just act on one side of the pitch, so going from higher back to the original pitch. This adds more punch and sounds a little bit like this. But you can really fine tune this to get what you want. So either you can drag up here, which makes it sound a little bit more pitchy, or you can drag that in. Or you can actually do this from the matrix by dragging up here. So you just sort of fine tune that until it gives you a nice solid punchy mid-range. So skip ahead to this time if you weren't going to follow along with this synth, but I'm going to quickly replicate this with Citrus just to show you that it's possible. So on operator 1 we have a sine wave. I'm going to turn on the ADSR envelope, adjust these points to give us a similar curve. Then I'm going to go to the pitch envelope. I'm going to create an envelope for the pitch and do the same thing, which ends up sounding like this. So it's a little bit different, but it's perfectly possible. Uh, each synth is going to have its own sort of character. Let's move on to the next part of the sound, which is blending in some noise uh, with your oscillator. In Citrus, this slider here blends in some noise. So usually on any synth, you can uh, blend in a little bit of noise there. There's a particular noise I like in Serum called uh, Alpha Noise, but there's plenty of other ones uh, that you can experiment with. It sounds like this. And when we blend that in with the original oscillator, you can hear that we're building out two parts of the snare, although it's very basic. We've got that low and mid, and now we've got that sort of full frequency and uh, top end from that noise. So adjust the levels of these relative to each other. If you want a snare that's more electric, or if you want a snare that's got a lot more uh, top end in it. I'm going to now go over to the filter and enable this. You can do this within the synth or you can just use an EQ afterwards. I'm going to select a high pass 18 dB per octave. This is going to roll off a little bit of low end frequencies. I don't want this to sound too much like a kick drum and I'm listening in headphones so I'm probably not getting a, a good idea of the low end here. And I'm going to drive this filter a little bit just to bring a little bit of saturation to the sound, but we're going to saturate it more in a moment. Let's start adding some effects, and you can do a lot of this outside the synth. You don't have to use these ones in Serum, but this sort of keeps it simple. I'm going to add some reverb. I'll start by pulling the size down, and I will add a little bit of a low cut so that we don't get too much low end. And static, this sounds like this. 
which might be fine, but what I'd like to do is a, sort of quite a creative effect where you start the reverb full and then you very quickly shut it off and it adds just so much extra sort of harmonic energy into the sound. I can't quite describe it, but it's something I stumbled across and I really like it. To set this up, I take the mix down to zero. It's important to start there. I'm going to grab envelope three and I'm going to link it to there. And then I'm going to take the sustain all the way down and shape it a little bit like this. So let's just start with around 500. I'll also hover over it here, left click and drag it in to around there because I don't want too much reverb. And now it will start open and quickly shut off without the reverb, with. I think that just gives the sound a lot more depth. Let's keep exploring other effects. So I would definitely use some distortion. So turn uh, on the filter here and just drive it a bit, see what this sounds like. It's getting a little bit more dirty now. I'm gonna pull the mix back and push the drive further. Okay, it's a bit far. But now we're getting uh, a lot more texture and tone in that sound. This is where you push it and you find what sounds right for you. If you play different keys on the keyboard, you'll start to find something that sounds really good for your song. Next step is a compressor. Uh, I would probably use a compressor on my mixer, not necessarily this one here. If you give the compressor, you know, at least 100 milliseconds of attack, it will let the initial transient of the snare uh, sort of smash through, and then it will clamp down on the compression. So I'm going to try to set this by ear. So I'll pull the threshold down. Okay. Make up gain. Great, cool. So that's some compression, but maybe you don't want uh, the transient to poke through. So if I give it a very fast attack time, you hear how we've rolled off um, the initial punch of the snare. Depending on the song, you might not want the snare to poke through, you might want it to sit back in the groove uh, in the pocket, sort of with the rest of the drums. Or let's add the attack back in. Okay, so we've got a nice sort of punch there. And the final thing I'd experiment with is a little bit of EQ. So if you hunt around uh, in the high frequencies, maybe around 2 to 4k, push it up by a few dB. I'll take it down. We've got like a very muted sound, push it up just a little bit. At this point, I think we've got a pretty good sound. What I'd do from here is probably a lot more compression or even limiting to try and make that nice and loud and fit in your production, but it does depend on what you want. You might want a very subtle sound or you might want something that absolutely knocks through the mix. So let me know what you thought of this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was sort of quite fast paced, but it wasn't too confusing or too quick. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.